Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So day 10 takes us to the 13th of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNGFS and ECM ensembles. We're running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have got CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And as I'm recording the video quite late, we'll look at as much of the 12s there as we can as well. I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just say there was a 6M forecast. Uh, this morning i got home from work last night and i was absolutely tired out so i just went straight to bed basically and passed out <laughs> uh, i've doing uh, five straight and have to do a winter update at about one o'clock in the morning on saturday night sunday night. but it's all good it's all fine and of course the winter update is uh, out for you and it's there for you to have a look at so it's a 40 minute epic make sure you check that one out like share and subscribe on that as well and you know share it as far and wide as you can tell people about the in-depth scientific work that we sometimes do at Gaz Web Beats. It's not all laughs and duva entendres and <laughs> giddy gab. We do sometimes, very rarely, not very often, but occasionally Gav does do a bit of science as well. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Mate. So check well for dear Matt. Right, let's have a look, man. So we're going to start off with the latest Wimper and Matt from EarthNoSchool.net. Share that low pressure is in control and in the ascendancy in the North Atlantic and we're drawing up a mild or a very mild uh, southwest wind with the air originating from the Azores and from the Canary Islands. Low pressure will be in control this week and we'll be bringing bouts of rain at times. Central in temperature is looking uh, like this. So we're currently sitting at uh, 10.4, uh, that's 4 degrees above 61 to 1990 average provisional just to the second of November, certainly a very mild start to November, but of course that doesn't necessarily mean that is where we'll end up, we'll have to wait and see. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. In a couple of weeks, looking at exit today, home of the UK Met Office. Hello to those of you at the Met tuning in. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Exeter. So we're starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They are saying above average as well uh, for the next few days. Been coming down closer to normal, but still generally, I think we're going to be trending around to above average really through the first half and even into of November and even into the second half of the month. The main stream is probably precipitation or lots of rainfall spikes there. Uh, showing that we are likely to be in for a bit of a deluge and a bit of an onslaught pattern through the first half of this November with regular bouts of rain to come. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. A temperature normally is six, five days to so the 8th of November, significantly above average. But 10 to 14 day is, well, a little bit above average, but not as excessive. Precipitation anomalies, the next seven days to so the 10th of November, driving an average in the south and southeast, uh, wetter than average in more western regions. Okay, let's start getting through the chart data then. We have a latest UK Met Door run. It's looking midnight on Thursday, a low pressure knocking on the door to west and low pressure will keep on coming until we get into the weekend and then a bit of a ridge trying to build to the south of the east uh, looks rather flimsy and transient i have to say but trying to block off these areas of low pressure out of the Atlantic. Stay mild though winds continue from that southerly or southwesterly direction icon Again, brings low pressure in from off the Atlantic through to the end of the week with bouts of rain too. Next week, or the beginning of next week, well, again, a ridge is trying to build to the south and east, but low pressure out to the northwest probably keeps the unsettled flavour going. And, of course, all the time, winds will remain from southeast southwest direction, so it will continue to be mild. But KMA, again, brings in further areas of low pressure through to the start of next week. Looks more unsettled, actually. Less of that ridge over on the continent through to the beginning of next week. More of a block around Greenland and Iceland. So that's quite interesting. That starts to bring some colder air in from the north and northeast. Then the high pressure topples down over the country. So probably becoming quite cold, actually, through the second week of uh, November there. Cold rain and then clearing to uh, dry conditions with overnight frost if KMA 
is right. Looks a bit of a synoptic outlier, though, I think. Miss Sarah GFS Midnight Run is looking. So, again, low pressure knocking on the door until the weekend. Then higher pressure trying to build to the north of the northeast. Not uh, all that successfully so, though. Up to day 10, low pressure remains to our south and southwest. Again, we've got a hint of a Scandinavian high here, though, by day 10, 13th of November. And then we extend it. Well, check that out. The Scandinavian high does indeed take over. And winds switch into a not particularly cold easterly, but they would have a chill to them. Uh, and then in the very extended, well, higher pressure out to the north of the west. Winds in from a northerly direction. Looks quite chilly under that ridge, probably overnight frost there and uh, some uh, fog patches of freezing fog patches for into the third week of uh, November becoming rather chilly I think with GFS midnight rubber GFS 6 said by comparison again unsettled until the weekend with low pressure bringing rain at times low pressure continuing into the start of next week as well eventually the low pressure sinks away to the south and winds start to switch a room to more of a southerly or southeastly direction in the very extended winds going to the east so it becomes drier but it also starts to turn colder under that area of high pressure as well again probably some overnight frost but at the very very end of the gfs 6 um, just a bit of a hint maybe but we're going to start trying retrograde retrograde <laughs> the high pressure uh, towards greenland but of course that's over two weeks away well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web is and get a two squad too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We've just reached 20.6k. We push on 20.7k now. About 95 subscribers will get us to 20.7k. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM. Again, bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic until the weekend and even into the start of next week as well. High pressure trying to build to our east, but not especially successfully. So up to date, um, low pressure keeps on coming. And then the ECM rounds it all off with low pressure still dominating from off the Atlantic, still bringing further out to rates of rain, uh, particularly to the west through to the end of week and, uh, and the weekend, and, you know, start next week. Winds in from southwest, so staying mild up to uh, up towards day 10. However, day 10 itself starting to brace the heights towards Greens and Iceland, beginning to try and switch the wind around into more of a north or a northeasterly. And indeed, the east end of a very extended for the middle of November does turn cold with a bit of a north or a northeasterly pushing southwards so uh, that would drop the temperature quite dramatically and uh, we would expect to see overnight frost and permit or possibly some wintry showers turning up over high ground would be a very entertaining ct collapse with that. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Temecha.com up to uh, day 10. So out to breaks of rain and showers coming and going and all the way up toward day 10. Uh, we keep those showers going. By day 10, those signs of a ridge starting to build. So, uh, beginning to go a little bit drier by then. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 30 November 15. Members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure to the north, low pressure south southwest, and we bring the wind up from a southerly southeast direction. So rain in the south and the west, drier in the north and the east, and very mild 15 or a further 15 with high pressure up towards Greenland. Round back, we bring the wind in from more of a uh, northeasterly direction. We've got 14 with high pressure up towards Greenland, low pressure down towards the southwest, and winds coming up the southerly direction. Would be outbreaks of rain in uh, marking the boundary, you know, between those uh, colder conditions, trying to push down from the south of the milder conditions, uh, cold conditions trying to push down from the north of the milder conditions to the south. And then uh, we've got seven with high pressure towards green Iceland, low pressure through the north of West Europe, and that will bring the wind in to a north or a northeasterly uh, direction. That looks like the coldest option. Uh, really. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and it gets us to the 18th of November. 31 members of the East Channel Science then turn it cold, with high pressure up towards green ice and low pressure through the northwest of Europe, and winds in from the north and from the northeast. 
That includes the control and the operational run, operational run, 20 with high pressure right over the top of the country mostly dry, but probably quite chilly with that. So it looks like the train towards the middle and second half of November is a colder one after a very mild start. Right, CFSB2, these are 500 millibar height to dominance, broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from the 3rd to the 9th of November. The next week will have low pressure to the west. High pressure will be to the east. Look, mild, potentially very mild, winds coming in from a southerly southwesterly direction. Week 2 will be the uh, 10th to the 16th of November. High pressure to the east, low pressure out to the west. So that brings wind up again from a mild southerly direction. Week 2 Three will be the 17th to the 23rd of November. High pressure lurking to the northeast. Probably a trough through here. Could some cooler, cold air start to be started to get entrenched into that uh, trough from the northwest, possibly. And then uh, week four, quite interesting will be the 24th to the 30th of November. High pressure then blocking things out from Greenland to Scandinavia. Would have thought it's going to be low pressure through here, and you would imagine that could start to get wind around to an easterly direction. Could the trend be towards blocked and colder conditions? Second half of November, we will see. Right, let's just see how much of 12Z we can look at. So, beginning with the uh, UK Met Euro run, enabling the hover at 72 hours. Again, uh, the UK Met 12Z showing low pressure heading in from the Atlantic until the end of the week. And then high pressure building, or trying to build, over to the east. Coast. That's how you end up with the UK Met. So, higher pressure to our southeast, low pressure out to the northwest. What direction do we go in through next week with that? I reckon we might go towards a higher pressure uh, direction, but we'll see. Icon, again, showing uh, low pressure coming in from the Atlantic until the end of the week. And really carrying on a, a low pressure influence until the start of next week, actually. Less of a ridge to our east there with Icon. Uh, the GFS 12Z is uh, looking like this. So I think that's trending more towards a higher pressure direction over the weekend until the start of next week. And beyond that, well, yes, high pressure building quite strongly towards Scandinavia around day 10. So increasing high pressure there. And then at the very end, oh, this is quite interesting, show a bit of a hint of retrogression and a colder northerly uh, setting up. How cold does that northerly, northeasterly get? Let's have a look at the upper air temperature. So we start to pull down the minus 5 Celsius isotherm uh, there. So not especially cold for the south, but just don't colder for the north. That's what you expect, really, with a north northeasterly in November. Could well deliver uh, snow showers to Scotland and maybe um, snow to the Pennines and Welsh Mountains. Mountains and whatnot. Quite an interesting end to uh, the GFS 12Z then. And then the GEM uh, looks like this. So again, plenty of low pressure in from the Atlantic until the weekend. Uh, start of next week, well, it's been betwixt in between, isn't it? But still a low pressure influence. Uh, I think, and that's how I look at day 10, possibly trying to trend in a higher pressure direction. It all looks a bit inconclusive, I have to say, from about the weekend onwards. Is it going to be low pressure? Is it going to be high pressure? I think next week probably will trend towards high pressure, but I don't think it will be a particularly cold high pressure, at least not initially. Um, but if we set up, a, well, if we set up a Scandinavia, just, just, just to bring in a lot of cloud, gloomy, damp conditions, really, and a chill. Um, if we retrograde it to Greenland, though, then we might get an early shot of winter sometime around the middle or third week of November. I think it's a low risk at the moment, but we sort of mean some ensembles. It is actually the majority option for, like, day 14. So, it's one to watch. It's slow burner. We'll keep you updated. Right, we're done. It's been Enjoy the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this on all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about that. So, get subscribed too. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing uh, that. Tomorrow, we're going to have more updates for including the 14 day, of course. Keep taking back to the channel for more. For this, I'm Matthew for now, and thanks for watching.